It's been a long time. It's been uh, at least a couple months since I've done a video where I just sat down and just talked into the microphone. So, uh, you know, today I decided to uh, make a video just answering a couple questions about modding in general. So, you know, a lot of people, they ask questions about modding. They're like, hey, buddy, where'd you get these mods? Did you, uh, did you just Google Balloon Titty Battle Mod? Hey, we're, we're friends, right? You wanna... You wanna pass those mods over so I can make some videos too? I'm like, no. So anyway, first question, basically, where do you get your mods? So uh, just to let you guys know, I don't just go on Google and search up Balloon Titty Battle Mod. <laughs> Balloon Titty Battle. I don't just Google them and I don't just like download them off the internet. Uh, me and my buddies, we, we make them ourselves. As far as how to mod the game, well, basically, there's one file in the game, and it has basically everything, right? It's like, hey, the, the dart monkey does one damage, and it shoots uh, once every second, and then you just change a bunch of numbers, you make the dart do like a trillion damage, and you make the dart shoot like a thousand times a second, and um, bam, there you go, right? You change a bunch of numbers, and y you got the game modded. You got an entire uh, game mode, you know, a tower shoot ten times slower, or times ten tower speed, uh, whatever you want to do, and... That's basically how you mod. Uh, I'm not gonna go into specifics because I, I can't actually. I'll talk a little bit more about what I can and can't do later on in the video. So the next, this brings me on to the next question. Uh, why don't you release your mods? Why don't you give us download links, buddy? It's because um, uh, Ninja Kiwi doesn't actually let us mod. Uh, just letting you know. Ninja Kiwi just didn't say no. Like, I... Let, let, me, let me tell the story from the very beginning, right? So uh, when... Uh, I think it was September, and Blazer just hit me up on Skype, he was like, Hey buddy, I, I, I got this super secret project, and uh, I want you to tell me, you're not gonna spill the beans, you're not gonna tell anyone this, you tell anyone, I am going to come after you, and I am going to uh, shoot you in the head. And I was like, uh, yeah, sure, buddy, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it a secret if you want. And then we basically made, um, or, well, I didn't actually do anything. Uh, it was basically John. I don't know why he asked me to help. Uh, <laughs> actually, thinking back on it, I don't even know why he asked me to help, because uh, I didn't actually do much, if anything at all. So, basically, uh, John made this huge mod. And it was, um, it wasn't a mod for fun, it was a serious mod. It was a mod because at the time, every single YouTuber was just asking Ninja Kiwi, Hey, Ninja Kiwi, you wanna, you wanna update the game? Because we're just using the same towers every single time, right? And Ninja Kiwi kinda didn't really update the game. It was just, you know, the same tower combination every single time. You bring the dart monkey, you bring the banana farm, you bring the chipper, and bam, you win, right? And it was the same thing over and over again. And so Blazer was like, hey, I'll just mod the game and balance the game myself. So he he did this huge project called Bloons Private Server. Um, and after two weeks of uploading videos with this mod, Ninja Kiwi was like, hey, buddy, you got 24 hours to take down these videos, or we're gonna take it down for you. And I was like, Oh, sh god damn, dude. I mean, uh, we both of us were just crapping ourselves. We were like, okay, um, there's no way around this, so uh, let's just wait out the entire 24 hours and then delete the video, you know, rake in all the ad revenue that you can. Now, I talked to Loki, and basically, he told me that the problem wasn't modding itself necessarily, because he said that, um, you know, the guys over at Ninja Kiwi were like, hey, modding is pretty cool. But the problem was that uh, Blazer, he he made a Discord, and Discord is like a like a big group chat, right? You got a bunch of people in it, everyone can talk together, and he made this community based around modding the game, and that's what Ninja Kiwi didn't like. So then I was like, hey, what if I just make modding videos, but I don't release the mods? So it's the like the only thing that's happening is I just show off mods, like I just make videos on mods. And then I did that, right? So basically what happened, um, I don't know if you guys remember this, it, this was kind of a while ago, but I made a video on the Glaive God glitch, right? And, um, you know, low-key, I'm not even gonna lie, uh, the Glaive God glitch wasn't even a glitch, it was an actual mod, and we just called it a glitch because, like, hey, I mean, uh, if it's a glitch, Ninja Kiwi can't uh, take down the video, it's not modding, right? So uh, that's basically what we did, uh, I made a bunch of videos on that. And then I slowly started to mod the game, right? There, it wasn't anything insane. It was kind of subtle. It was small changes. And I was like, hey, Ninja Kiwi didn't take down the video. 
And then we just went all out, right? We made like completely new game modes. Yeah, that's basically how uh, how modding came to be. So Ninja Kiwi just kind of never really said no, you know? It's like we just kind of uploaded modding videos and we just kind of, you know, said, hey, I mean, as long as we don't release the mods, Ninja Kiwi is not going to ban us. And it's basically what happened. So the rule right now, I talked to Ninja Kiwi and they were like, okay, so we like modding. And, uh, you know, you guys get some pretty spicy views. You get quite a lot of views. And uh, we're like, hey, you can mod as long as you don't share the mods. And as long as you don't tell people how to mod. It's basically the rules, you know. Ninja Kiwi is like, hey, you can do modding as long as you don't, uh, as long as you don't share the mods. And it's basically why we can't release the mods. Because if we do, right, and I got a lot of comments at first about this. Because people were like, Hey, buddy, like, if you're not gonna tell us how to do it, then what's the point of even showing us? Uh, well, because I think it's pretty cool, and, like, would you rather just not even know that this even exists? Like, I think showing people is better than nothing at all, right? So, I mean, I don't really get the logic, but we basically can't, uh, release the mods. If we do, then the video gets taken down and we can't upload any more modding videos. So, it's like, well, if you really want the mods, you're not gonna get any more videos. So, sucks for you, pal. Um, there's nothing we can do about it. It's not like we choose not to. If we could, we definitely would. But we just can't, or else Ninja Kiwi's gonna ban us, right? They're gonna be like, hey, buddy, yeah, we're not gonna let you make balloon titty battle videos anymore. Alright, so the next question is, why didn't you take my idea? The reason why I don't take a lot of suggestions, even though there's so many really good suggestions, like randomizer where every single uh, upgrade is different. Like, you could you could buy a 0, zero Dart Monkey, right? And the first upgrade would literally turn it into a temple, and the next upgrade would would, would be like, um, I don't know, the Ring of Fire. The next upgrade would be would be like Juggernaut. You could have Balloon Jitsu upgrades. You, you could have a Dart Monkey that shoots, um, that shoots Flash Bombs and Shurikens, or you could have a bomb tower that shoots glue. So randomizer, every single upgrade would be randomized, right? Like you wouldn't even know what upgrade you would get. So that one was a really cool idea, but we just couldn't do it because there's limits to how how much we can mod, like what we can actually mod, right? Basically, the only thing we can do is just change a bunch of numbers. Like, that's basically it. We can change how much money we have, we can change how fast towers shoot, because those are all numbers, right? How much damage a tower does, if it does like 1 damage, or like 10 damage, or 100,000 damage, like 99 billion damage. Um, that's basically all we can do. So there's limits to what we can actually mod, what we can actually do. Which kind of sucks. Actually, no. Before this video ends, right? I do have a, a pretty good idea. So I just found out something, right? My buddy, he told me about this uh, this game mode. There's there's a bunch of these game modes, and there's this one game mode where every single round, right? The cost of towers and upgrades increases 10% every single round. That was a video that I was going to make, but the reason why I didn't upload it right away is just because it was my friend's idea, right? And I kind of want him to make a video on it first and. You know, I kind of didn't want to take his idea because it was kind of his idea, you know, so it's like I kind of don't want to steal it from myself. I want to at least let him get the chance to make a video on it and upload it and get some views before I upload my video, right? So uh, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys then with the Nightmare Mode mod. Peace out everybody.